I was born in Lebanon. I live in the United States. Or some of my friends say, uh, made you in the USA with Lebanese parts, you know? <laughs> Both my parents are Lebanese. But what's really interesting is my mom has beautiful grayish green eyes, which is very inconsistent with the, what we would consider the Middle Eastern stereotype. And I often wonder where that came from, right? I had enough evidence there to think that there was Lebanese plus something else. But, you know, the, the science just wasn't there at the time. Okay, so what is my ancestry? What identifies us as Arab? What, what, what is that? How do, how do we become Arab? Um, what constitutes an Arab person? That left me with an open question as to what my identity really was. And that remained so for, for a very long time until a friend of mine uh, told me about 23andMe. I get the results, they're all online, and I start to look. Some of them were totally expected, so I expected to be Middle Eastern. And then I found out there's 9% specifically Italian, and I'm like, you know, that is very interesting. I always felt, you know, I, a part of me was Italian. I, I speak with my hands, you know. I, uh, I like uh, Martin Scorsese movies. <laughs> I like watching The Sopranos, and I have an affinity for men's jewelry, right? None of my other friends do, so I'm like, so that explains the Italian very well. We're gonna grow for lunch today. What do you guys think? When I looked at my reports, I found that it really alters the way of how you perceive people and how you care about other people. Okay, good. I, I also found out that in, in my DNA report, I'm, I have a little bit of uh, Ashkenazi Jewish. It made me wonder how people in the Middle East would feel if they realized that they all had common ancestry. They all shared great, 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 great grandfathers. And uh, how that would might change the way they perceive each other, and that they're more the part of each other's universe than, than not. I want everyone in my family to have a 23 and me. I'd like for them to really go through the same uh, discovery journey that I went through and uh, uh, develop the sense of comfort that you can get from that. When you find out that you have common ancestry, it gives you something that, to explore that you have in common with somebody else. You start to look at people maybe more favorably, and that's a good thing. I'm glad that my kids live in the world that they live in now. They actually know more truth about our ancestry than I did. And so I share with them what I know now. My hope is that, you know, through time, uh, more people will become aware of what it is they share with other people. And, and it's irrefutable, right? It's, it's, in, it's in the genes, you know? Yeah. I, I think it will really change the world. I believe that.